I'm going to use this word. Anybody get in front of you and do and minister and not use the word, you know, y'all got to do like y'all at the power. Pop, pop. <laughs> y'all know what I'm saying. Don't act like you ain't got a child. Okay, amen. I'm going to move in a different way as opposed to what many church folk are accustomed to in receiving the word of God. Because of who is in the attendance, I'll speak more topically rather than exegetically. Uh, I'm trying to heighten your awareness too and teach you something as while I'm talking. Because I'm not going to come down where you are. I'm going to pull you up where I am. I'm tired of preachers. I got to come down to where they are. No! God ain't never came down where you are. He came to pull you up up out of that. Whatever, whatever it is, he come to pull you up. He ain't come down. No. I come to pull you up to increase your mind, to expand your heart. That you can take on the belief and faith as of Christ, that you can do greater works. But more importantly, that when you become when you become acquainted with Christ, when you become knowing Christ, then you be able to do exploits. When you know him, you can do exploits. Everybody can. Let me use this. I'm in Romans. Everybody can do exploits. Everybody. I'm just saying. See, I'm, I'm, look. Jesus got on the cross by his willingness to get there for you. Not for you. Let me change that. His willingness to be obedient to the Father. See, the Father so loved the world. But he gave. But Jesus so loved his Father that he was obedient to the call. And then when he got the call, he did everything to prepare you and I to go do exports and greater works after he leave even 3,000, 2,000, however you want to say it, years ago. <laughs> the thing is, see, you got, Jesus got, got you to the cross. And after he went up, he ain't up on the cross no more. Anybody wearing a necklace or something with Jesus or, or a person on the cross, on, on, on the arm, got to be, you seen people with a gold necklace, got certain Jesus on the cross. Anybody got one? You got one? Yeah, you do? He on, he on there? Okay, take that to take that to the uh to the uh, the gold the gold store. Pawn shop. Get what you can get for it and tell him to melt it down and just and just leave the cross. Because he left the cross, baby. He's supposed to be in your heart. Amen. I know he is. Listen, mom, I'm just telling you the real right? Did he leave the cross? Did he leave the cross? to get you past the cross to the kingdom. I'm trying to get you past the cross to the kingdom because it's the kingdom work we do now. See, he established our faith and our belief by dying and rising, but it's up to you and I as evangelists, prophets, pastors, and teachers, ministers to get into the kingdom to do a greater work. A work. Some of y'all in here, y'all Open that door and let them go outside and meet that sign. To do a what? What's the sign outside? A great work. It's not by happiness. That's the word. It's the church. This church, this August group of believers are inside of greater works, belong to greater works, and willing workers of greater works. Okay. Not everybody's a willing worker. I, I'm going to preach this word. I'm going to give some word. I'm going to give some word. Because if it was in attendance, I'll speak more topically than the ex exegetically. I am an exegetical minister. I'm a word man. For I'd rather speak theoretically, hermeneutically, pragmatically, parenthetically, systematically, didactically, homiletically, and most assuredly, theologically. But more than the aforementioned, I like to speak through the Holy Spirit experientially, through my experience, and by way of your experience, because there's nothing new under the sun. If you ain't seen it, join with it, you heard about it. Amen. So ain't nothing new. Ain't nothing new. 
Pardon my ebonics. Somebody go with me so I don't have to stand up. Say, ain't nothing new. Ain't nothing new. Turn your Bible to Isaiah 6, 1 and 3. Do you feel good today? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. That, thank you for the hand clap. You feel good, girl? Yes, huh? Yes, Say, you feel good? I do. Do me a favor back there, girl. Say, yeah. ah! Ah! Oh. Ah! I feel good. Like you know, I see it. It's good to have fun in Christ. It's good. Do you still love him? Okay. All right. You know they told Jesus love when he was healing. Give him food out. You ain't even have a ticket. He gave you food. He so bad he took a boy lunch. Took the boy lunch. The boy didn't, have, didn't know what to do. Took his lunch. Fed 5,000 without women and children. We did Isaiah 6? Uh, I got to get there too, don't I? Okay. Did I say what verse? You sure? Okay. Isaiah 6 and 1. Can we, let's start off at 1. Is that good? Okay, you, just, you can stay seated. You can stay seated. If you want to stand to the word of God, then you can. But you, you've got my permission to keep your seat if you want to. But for those who are have a position and it's acknowledged, like Terry and James and Garena and, you know, Pastor Jeff, you know, those type of people, you know, if they, if they, you got a position, you know, you stand to the word of God, because this is what you teach and live on. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, just, I'm not talking about everybody. You know, but you know, those, you know, you know, those, those who, those who, those who minister through song, you know, on praise teams. You know, I've seen praise teams stand at the word of God. I'm just saying, you know, not everybody will have to, you know. You know, those, those, you know what, you know, young lady, Mama, right there. Back there. Noreen, who's in the wheelchair? You in the wheelchair? I love you, sweetie. I love you. And I want to say this to you. Can you hear me? I want you to be my guest since I'm at home and I'm standing in the stead of my apostle. I want you to get in that wheelchair and come up here. I wonder who is that with you? Somebody? That's, that's a, you are a son? Well, you hear me talking to you. Get your mommy in that chair. Come on up here. Sit up on this road with me. Come on. Amen. Isaiah 6 and 1. Are we there? Somebody say, I'm there. Okay, I got 20 minutes. Uh, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings, with twain he covered his face, and his twain covered his feet, and twain, and he did fly. So his feet and his face was covered, but he was flying. He was flying by faith, amen. And one cried unto the other, uh, I, 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 I don't, I, no, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want mama right here. Just put her right there, put her right there. Just, you can sit, move some of that out the way, James. Let mama and her son sit there. Mama, I want you to sit right there. All right, get her up out that chair. You can't get out. You just got in it. You just got in it. Now stand right there for a minute. Stand right there for a minute. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and call the name of Jesus. You call the name of Jesus. You call his name again. Jesus. Lord, I thank you for her mind. It will be renewed today. I even pray for her son to be strengthened today. Take all the worry off of him concerning his mama. In the name of Jesus. 
I declare and decree right now that Jesus himself enter in even greater in you, touch you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I declare today by belief and by faith, I speak it because I believe that you shall walk again and not many days hence in the name of Jesus. But I tell you right now, y'all, you got to believe. You got to believe in the name of Jesus. Be my guest. Have a seat, sweetie. Enjoy what God has for you today. Sometimes you need a little nine and nine and go after the one. Now where was I? I'm on verse three. See y'all, no one And we're crying unto another and said, "Holy, let me get this straight with you." Terry, come in. So we stand with the stairway. Come in, come on up here. Stay right there. This is the throne. Because I want to give you a new perspective. And I want to give you, those who don't know, the actual wording of this text. It's not they was flying around. Holy, holy, holy. Let me, let me show you something. And one cry. Holy. 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 say he's holding more than the other one. It's not no competition, but see, he got to, you see the way my holy is against his? My holy is greater than his, because he's he kind of weak with his holy. He's the other show. I say he holy. holy. I say holy. holy. I'm talking about look at me and look at him and look at me and tell me who he is to you. He's my God. He's holy. No. He's holy. He, I say holy. He's holy. He holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. That's what they're doing up in heaven. He's holy. That's what they're doing. Thank you, Terry. The Bible says that holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his. The whole earth is full of his glory. Y'all must be on Mars because the whole earth is full of his glory. The trees is glory, the grass is glory, the birds is glory, the dogs is glory. That's his glory. Amen. But you know who most important? Thou made us a little bit more than the angels. Yes. We are his glory. Somebody shout glory! glory. Somebody shout glory. glory! I want to say this to you. Then I'm, let me read this over here. Uh, turn to Mark 16. Right quick. Turn to Mark 16. Mark 16. 15th verse. Somebody say, I got to come y'all turn these pages. I, got, I just got a commandment and I want to be obedient. And he said unto, the, unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes, somebody say, He that believes. Read right along with me, 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that in the name shall they cast, they shall speak, they shall take up and it in the drink, any dead, it shall it shall not hurt. They shall and they shall because of your belief and you being baptized, have a seat right quick. You being baptized. I'm not talking about this, not talking about water baptism. This is talking about baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because the only way that you really can believe is get into that which tells you to believe. Them. 